Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on scientific computing using MATLAB. So today we will continue with the numerical integration. So in the previous uh, lecture we have introduced that how the rectangular methods can be used for numerical integration. Now we will continue with that one. So we take that, that now so this is a numerical integration. Now I have a integral from A to B this function f x dx. So what I do is now we we approximate the function that is f x. So this function f x we approximate this one with with the Lagrange interpolating polynomial. With Lagrange I know that this Lagrange interpretive polynomial it can be linear, it can be quadratic, the cubic. So based on this one we will get the different different type of methods. So I just take the method 1, mm. and we call it Trapezoidal rule. So, in this case, what we are going to do that suppose I have a function and some function is given to me. So, this is my x is equal to a and this is the value of x is equal to b. Now, what I do is that I approximate this function. So, this is my function f x. So, I approximate this function with a linear function, this value. So, this is my Lagrange interpolating polynomial and this is my function f x. And I am considering that I know the value of the function at this point and this point. So, now in this case, we know that if I go back and uh, find the value of Lagrange interpolating polynomial, then I know that I can find this polynomial P1x because I am representing by the linear function. So, this can be written as x minus x1 over x0 minus x1, the value of the function at x0 plus x minus x0 and x1 minus x0 value the function at x1. So, I call it this value as x0 and this value I just call it x1. So, I have only two values there. Now, this f x0 can be written as y0 also and f x1 can be written as y1. So, this is the linear interpolating polynomial, Lagrange polynomials for the given function. Now we know that this polynomial comes with the errors. So I know that the function, my function f x can be written as p 1 x. So this is the interpolating polynomial plus the error term. So that is the reminder term. So that is r x. And I know that the r x in this case will be x minus x 0 x minus x1 f second derivative xi over 2 factorial where xi is lying between x0 to x1. So, this is the corresponding error we can find for this linear interpol interpolating polynomial. Now from here, now I want to do the integration. So, I am integrating from x0 that is a to x1 that is b f x dx. 
So, this one I am doing. So, I have substituted the value here. So, this is my x 0 to x 1 p 1 x d x plus x 0 to x 1 that is r x d x and r x is the error term we have introduced. Now, if I find I want to find this one. So, this integration I want to find out. So, first I will find out this integration. So, this integration is x 0 to x 1 and the p 1 x is x minus x 1 x 0 minus x 1. So, this is my plus y naught x minus x 0 x 1 minus x 0 y 1 d x. So, this integration I want to do. Now, from here you can see that this x 0 and x 1. So, I can find that x 1 minus x 0 I represent by h. So, this value. So, now this integration if you want to do I will get y 0 over x naught minus x 1. So, I am doing the integration of these. So, it will become x minus x 1 whole square by 2 and substituting this integral value plus y 1 x 1 minus x naught and then it will be x minus x naught whole square by 2 and then substituting x 0 x 1. So, from here I will get and this one is the h I have taken. So, it is minus h basically here coming. So, from here I can write y naught over minus h into 2, 2 is there and now I have substituted the limit here. So, this is x 1 is 0 and x naught. So, it will be x naught minus of x naught minus x 1 square. I will get this value plus y 1 into 2 h because this is the h and then I substitute the value. So, I will get x 1 minus x naught square minus 0. So, I will get this value. So, from here and this is x naught minus x 1 is the minus h but square is there. So, this minus and this minus will cancel out and from here I will get y naught into h square 2 h plus y 1 2 h into h square. So, this h will cancel out. So, from here I can write that I can write this as a h y naught plus y 1 divided by 2. So, that is the value of the integration we are going to get and if you see from here in the previous one. Now, if you look at this one carefully then you will see that this one is a trapezoid. And if I want to find the area of this trapezoid, so that is the the average of the parallel side. So, this will be y 0, this is the y 0 plus y 1 that is the y 1 and by 2. So, this is the average of this value multiplied by the distance between them and distance between them is h. So, that is the area of the trapezoid. So, the same value we are getting here for this one. So, that is same as area of the trapezoid. Trapezoid. So, that is why this is called the trapezoid rule. So, in this case that is the area we are going to get. Now, we want to find out how the error will. So, this error we want to find out. So, this error is x minus x 0 d x. So, this one we want to find out. So, if I want to find out from here then I can because this is the constant value I can take this outside and then I can integrate this one.
and now this is the product of two functions. So, I can simply do the integration by parts and if you see this one I can take this as a first function. So, x minus x 0 and then x minus x 1 whole square by 2. by 2 and then minus x 0 to x 1 taking the derivative of this will be just a 1. So, it will be x minus x 1 whole square by 2 dx. So, this is now if I substitute so here also we have to substitute the limit. So, if I put x 1 this will be 0, x 0 it will be 0. So, this part will be 0. So, this is equal to 0. Now, from here I will left with this value. So, from here you can say that we have f double dash xi over 2 and then I will to the integration this j I i know that this j belongs to x 0 to x 1. So, this negative sign and I will take the integration of this part. So, this will be q by 6. So, it will be 6 there right. So, from here this will be minus. So, this I can write minus x minus x 1 cube by 6 and then putting x 0 and x 1. So, when I put the value x 1 here it will be 0 and x 0 will be edge with the negative sign. So, from and this will be 12. So, I can write this one minus f double dash xi over 12 and this is 0 minus x naught minus x 1 cube. So, this is the integration. Now, x naught minus x 1 is x naught minus x 1 is minus h. So, this is the minus h by cube. So, minus sign will come out. So, from here I can write this is equal to minus f double dash xi into h cube. So, I get this value. So, from here I can write that the error term in this integration will be h cube by 12 f double dash xi and where xi is lying between x 0 to x 1. So, that is the error in this integration. Now, from here you can see that this error is the second order, second derivative of the function f x. So, I can say that for linear function f second derivative is equal to 0, which implies that this method gives exact solution for linear function. So, for the linear function if we are doing the integration then we will get the exact value of using the trapezoidal rule. So, that is the the way we can find out the error. Now, this is uh, we have done now. Now, what is what is happening in this case in the previous if you see that the whole function I am approximating with a linear interpolating polynomial and we are able to find the solution. But if you see from here the error is quite large. So, this is the error we have introduced this is the error this is the error. So, the error is very large in this case. Now, what do you do that instead of this one what we can do we can split the function into n plus 1 nodal values as we are doing and this is my x n is equal to b, this is my x 0 is equal to a, 
this is x1, x2, x3 and so on. Now what we can do that this function in the first sub interval I will approximate this one with a Lagrangian interpolating polynomial and then I will try, so this is the first trapezoidal I am going to get and then I will find out this value. Next one is that this function, the next is this function, this function and the this value I can this, this, this and so on. So based on this one I can for my integration from A to B my fx dx I can split this function the whole integral in this form from x0 to x1. So this the area of this one so I can write this value this area this area so then I can write this fx dx plus x1 to x2 fx dx xn minus 1 into xn fx dx. So, I split the function into all this sub interval and now this one can be separately can be solved as we have done in the previous one using the Lagrangian interpolating polynomial similarly for this one similarly for this one and so on. So, if you see from here then if I find the value of this integral with the trapezoidal rule then I will get the value here. So, I, what is the area of this trapezoidal? I will get the average of this value. This is the y0 and this is my y1 and then distance between these two. So, from here I can write that using the trapezoidal rule the area of this trapezoid will be h. So, h I am taking now. So, my h is b minus a by n. So, n is the number of sub interval I am finding. So, this is my h basically, this is the h. So, from here I will get y0 plus y1 by 2. The next one I want to find out this value. So, this will be again plus h y1 plus y2 by 2 and so on. In the last I will get h y i my n minus 1 plus y n by 2. So, this is the composite form we are getting. So, from here the composite formula for for the trapezoidal rule is so from here if i add all together then my integration from fx dx that becomes now if you see from here h and h h is coming common 2 is also coming common from all these values so i can write from here h by 2 and then y0 is coming but if you see from here y1 is also coming here and coming here so this is the the connecting node so this values which are connected by two sub interval so they are called nodes so this is the connecting nodes so in this case the connecting node is y1 so i'll get 2 y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to y n minus 1 plus y n. So, this value I am going to get because y n minus 1 is coming. So, this is the value of the connecting node y n minus 1. So, it will be used in the left side also and the right side also. Okay. So, that is the formula of the composite for trapezoid rule. And what about the error in this case? So, of course, the error will be added. So, from here I can write the total error. 
So, the total error T e. So, how I can find the total error? I can add this one. So, this one I can write that the, the upper bound for the error in the in the composite formula may be taken as n times the largest error in any sub interval. So, if you see from here I can write then and the total error will be minus n times. So, this is n times I am writing otherwise it is I know that this is equal to h cube by 12 f dash double dash xi where n is equal to. So, this is so h will be b minus a by n. Okay, so, from here I can write this one. So, this is the total error where xi I am choosing the, that this value is the largest error. So, I will find out the largest error in any sub of the interval and then I multiply by n. So, that is the truncation error we are going to. So, this is the upper bound for that one. So, truncation error we are going to get in the composite formula. So, that is the way we can find out the error in the composite formula. Now, so this is the simplest one we have taken. Now, the next method we are going to introduce is because in this case we are approximating the given function with a linear Lagrangian interpolating polynomial, but we can go further and how we can go further? Now, suppose I have this function, this the, so, I know the value of the function at x 0 and maybe x 1, I just take or I just take it x 2. So, this is my a and this is my b. Now, I choose a in between point. So, that is my I call it x 1. So, x 1 is a plus b by 2. Now, in this case, this is my function f x. So, I can approximate this function with a quadratic polynomial, interpolating polynomial. So, what is the quadratic interpolating polynomial? That it is passing, it is a quadratic and passing through the points. So, this is my, I call it p 2 x. Now, this is the quadratic interpolating polynomial. So, now we are approximating our function with p 2 x and some error will be introduced and then what we do? Then we will solve this one and we will find out the integration under this p 2. So, that is the way we can define. So, this is the method two, and this is called the Simpson rule. Simpson rule. So, in this case what we are going to start with, we have a function. So, this is my integration I want to find out. Now, we approximate, we approximate the function f x. So, f x I approximate with p 2 x plus the error term or the remainder. Error we call it remainder term plus R x. Now, what do you mean P 2? So, P 2 is the polynomial second degree polynomial that is we call it P 2. So, in this case it will be x. So, x 0 is there. So, it will be x 1 x minus x 2 divided by x 0 minus x 1 
x 0 minus x 2 y 0 the value of the function here. So, this is my point x 0 y 0, this is my point x 1 y 1 and this is the point x 2 y 2 plus x minus x 0 x minus x 2 and that will be x 1 minus x 0 and x 1 minus x 2 y 1 plus x minus x 0 x minus x 1 x 2 minus x 0 and x 2 minus x 1. <coughs> and that is y2 and the error terms rx is the the remaining term. So, I know that this will be equal to x minus x0, x minus x1, x minus x2 f third derivative by 3 factorial and where xi is bind between x0 to x2. So, this is the corresponding error in the approximating the function with the second degree Lagrangian interpolating polynomial. So, from here now we have to introduce this one. So, from here I want to find the integration that is x 0 to x 2 that is b my f x d x. So, this can be written as x node is equal to a to b that is x 2 my p 2 x d x plus x node to x 2 r x d x. So, this integration we have to find out. Now, the question is that how we can integrate this one. So, in this case we are going to start the integration. So, now I need to find the integration from x 0 to x 2 x minus x 1 x minus x 2 x naught minus x 1 and x naught minus x 2 y naught plus x minus x naught x 1 minus x naught and x 1 minus x 2 y 1 plus x 2 d x. So, this one we need to find. So, let us do the integration for this. Now, we know that our so the first integration I want to solve. So, let us solve this part first. So, in this case, so let us start this one. So, now I want to find out this x 0 to x 2 and this is the this part I can take outside because this is a constant value. So, x 0 minus x 1 and x 0 minus x 2. So, this part I can take common no problem. Inside I will get and y naught also I can take common y naught. Now, this is x minus x 1 dx. So, this one value I want to find out now find out. So, now I will the one thing is that we can do the integration directly, but then it will sometimes it becomes cumbersome to this one. Now, introduce just take the transformation. Now, I know that my value x can be written as x naught plus p h. This is we have done for the when we are doing the interpolating polynomial that we can represent the x is equal to x naught plus p h where p the parameter we introduce it generally it lying between 0 and 1. So, from here I can write my x minus x 0 becomes p h. 
Now from here, if I put x minus x1, then this will be x0 plus pH minus x1. This one I can write. So from here I can write x0 minus x1 plus pH. Right? Now I know that x0 minus x1. So if you see from the previous one, I can say that this is equal to h and this is also equal to h. The distance between x1 and x0 and x2 minus x1. So from here I can write that this is minus h plus pH. So that can be written as h I take common this becomes p minus 1. Similarly, x minus x2 can be written as x0 plus pH minus x2. So again I can take this x2, x0 minus x2 plus pH. So this is x2 and x2 minus this is minus 2H plus pH and from here I can take H this is P minus 2. Now from here if you, then also that if you write dx so it will be H dp and when x is equal to x0 P is 0 so at x is equal to x0 P0 x is equal to x2 P will be 2 because x is equal to x2 so it will be 2h so P will be 2. So from here I can that this integration can be written as y0 okay so this x0 minus x1 x0 minus x2 and this can be written as 0 to 2 x minus x1 is h p minus 1 into h p minus 2 and dx becomes h dp so h dp so this integration becomes this one. so from here i can write this h this h and this h i can take common h cube y naught over x naught minus x1 x naught minus x2 and 0 to 2 so this becomes it becomes p minus 1 into p minus 2 dp so this is the integration we need to find out similarly we can define for integration for this and this so we will uh, stop here. So in this lecture we have started with the method that is called the trapezoid order rule and then we have started with the Simpson rule. So in the next class we will carry out with the uh, Simpson rule. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, thanks very much.